Well, it's arrived all the way from Melbourne, Australia. It's the Underwood Mods Geo E-Pipe. Uh, it's it's a bulldog shape, which is my favourite. And I noticed this on his Instagram feed about a month ago, and it still wasn't finished. Uh, and he said as soon as it was finished, he was going to put it on his website for sale. And as soon as I saw it, I just knew I had to buy it. Buy it. I like I like the bulldog shape. It's my favourite pipe style. And wow, the quality of this thing! It's a beautiful pipe. It. I actually got it on. Well, yesterday, but it actually came on Saturday. But because it's an e-pipe, I've got to pay customs duty. So yesterday, I had to go down to the uh, post office and paid just short of 20 quid uh, well it was seven, £17.50 and I think it was £9 was the duty and then Royal Mail charged about £8.50 for uh, handling fees so it was about £17.50 I had to pay uh, and I picked it up yesterday and my god it's a cracking it's a cracking mod absolutely the, the quality of this wood and the carving and the presentation Really nice attention to detail in the presentation. It uh, it comes in a cardboard box. I've got it here. And you know, in, in the e-cig world, we do get a lot of bling thrown at us. It's so refreshing, I think, and classy. Just to put, just to package your, your mod in a, a nice little simple stiff cardboard box, and just a little logo at the bottom there saying UM very classy I think it's very classy and it's packed with straw inside it's got, see there it's got the straw and on top of that sits a uh, like a cotton bag and it's in the cotton that's tied together with string nicely presented and that's where your mod is it's inside the bag so what it comes with is the mod itself the button, the firing button here, and the pipe stem. And obviously you have to buy and choose your own tank. And it's a 510 connector, 22mm. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I I've, I've ate it yesterday, as soon as I got it home. And, yeah. Now it's fully mechanical. So what you also get supplied with the with the mod is a vape safe, which is what I'm using. Because you you know you've got to be a bit careful with uh, with mechanical mods. But wow, I'm just, I just <laughs> it's, it's just a beautiful beautiful pipe. Wow, that's a, it's gorgeous. So they they're not cheap. Uh, you know, there's no getting around it when you look at the website. It's in Australian dollars, obviously. Uh, converted, they're about £350, £400, depending on the exchange rate. And then, of course, you've got the £20 customs duty. So they're not cheap. I will, you know, there's no getting around it. But what you're getting for that is something that's going to last you decades <laughs> I mean wow this is quality you know uh, and, and and so yeah they cost a little bit more shall we say but wow it's worth every single penny you know the packaging the attention to detail the presentation and then the quality of the final product uh, second to none uh, compared to you know a lot of other products on the on the market where it's all bling and sales and stuff this is this just speaks quality uh, quality and class shall we say I'm more than happy with it and you know I'm, I'm even thinking maybe in about six months or so maybe purchasing another these are these are really classy so Underwood mods beautiful beautiful pipes uh, if you can save up a little buy one you will not regret it 
because they are just outstanding. I've, I've really enjoyed vaping with this. And it sort of fits into a new philosophy <laughs> I've sort of uh, dreamt up for myself. Purchasing philosophy. Because when I was, uh, well, last March I turned 50. And I sort of made a rule, uh, which I, I'm sort of trying to live by. And that is, wherever possible, buy something that will last pretty much <laughs> the rest of my life. So, what's that? On average, probably another 30 years. So buy stuff that's going to last me for the rest of my life. And this fits that philosophy perfectly because... Yeah, you know, I mean, you've got to look after your stuff. Of course you do. But I can see that lasting me 30 years. The quality, the build, everything. I, I can, you know. As long as there's a battery, I can vape it. So, even though with this philosophy, you're paying a little bit more up front, uh, but, but then you can forget about it. You've got it, and it's it'll just last you. Uh and, and this, this pipe certainly has that feel to it, but it is, it, it's just quality. I can see me vaping this when I'm 70, 80, <laughs> if I get that far. But really, I, I, could, I could still see myself vaping this. Which of course can't be said for uh, non-mechanical electronic mods. Because eventually it will go, the circuit board will go, you know, something will happen. Uh, and it will just die. But this being a mechanical mod, uh, it's probably less prone to that. So, yeah, I could, I mean, oh, the quality, everything, the, the, the staining, you know, even down to the staining, not just the carving, but the staining of the wood. And he's used different woods as well. For contrast, beautiful, fantastic. Yeah, I, I can definitely see myself vaping this when I'm eight. <laughs> and I'll probably still be vaping the same stock of e-liquid I've just made. Because <laughs> there's shed loads of stuff. <laughs> I haven't filtered it yet. But I have put another batch on. Uh, Balkan Riff Cherry Tobacco. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I've got a lot now. Uh, so I've, got, I've ordered the filters. What's delayed it is you've got to buy these specialist filters from actual laboratory suppliers. And you go to their websites and I can't understand the damn thing. <laughs> so... I was scratching my head for about a week trying to make sense of everything. I couldn't, so I went on the DIY Facebook group, DIY Liquids, and uh, I just said, you know, what are you guys using? <laughs> because I can't make head and the tail of this website. And someone kind of just said, you need this and you need that, and job's done. <laughs> so that was that was a helpful uh, a helpful hand there. So I've ordered them, they're, they're the cones, paper cones, just like the coffee filters, uh, but they're 5 micron and 2 micron, or thereabouts, I think one's 6 and one's 2.5, something like that. Uh, and these are your final filtrations. So I've got a 4 cup cone, plastic cone, that will sit on top of the jars. I've got a, a 4 cup paper coffee filter and that will be the first filtering. And I'm going to do that twice. And then you do once at the 5 micron, once at the 2 micron. And it's meant to take a couple of hours, two or three hours. But uh, especially with these really fine filters. But you end up with a very pure e-liquid. So hopefully that's going to come this week. Because I've ordered them at the weekend. So hopefully I'll get them this week. It's not like Amazon with next day delivery. You know. <laughs> uh, and then I can filter that at the weekend. And it'll just be in time for the holidays. Because in two weeks I go on holiday. So I can just uh, 
you know, mix up a, a bottle for the holiday and take it with me. So it's just in time. So that's where we are with the e-liquid. Uh, it's ready for filtering. Actually, they all are now because I've procrastinated that long. <laughs> I'm a bit like the government, aren't I? I've procrastinated that long that uh, that they're all ready for filtering now. Uh, they've all had about two months, so yeah, why not just do do them all over the weekend in, in one big go? Uh, and I've got some more uh, Kilner jars coming, and that's where I'm going to be storing the concentrate. And then it's just a case of mixing it, diluting it down, finding a dilution that I like. Interestingly, on the Facebook group, there's a guy who's just made his first e-liquid and he's used Kendall Gold, which is what I'm using for the Virginia. It's a Kendall Gold Pure Virginia. He's made the exact same tobacco e-liquid. And uh, he left it for a couple of months. And that's what this has been left for now. And he just says he just needs a 5% concentrate, 5% uh, concentrate to 95% dilutant which is your mixture of your PG and VG uh, and he said that's perfect for him so wow 5% uh, I was thinking 20 you know but I'm gonna have to experiment different different dilutions and see just exactly uh, exactly what the ratio is but if it's five percent, my God, I've got I've got years and years worth of stock if it only needs five percent. But there we go. We'll we'll have to find out. So I should have all the filtering done at the end uh, at the end of this week. Uh, over the weekend, they'll do it. So that'll be good. And then next weekend, I can give you a, a bit of a a taste test on the DIY e liquids. Right. So I will leave you good people to the rest of your day. As I said, if you can, get one. Because these are beautiful e-pipes. Absolutely a stunning quality. Underwood Mods, Melbourne, Australia. Absolutely fantastic. So have a great weekend and I'll see you again in the next video.